it can be a really nice professional touch for your Storyline projects to have custom navigation on screen rather than using the built-in navigation that comes included with the player. I'm talking about these buttons on screen here. I've got my own next and back buttons, my own little home button there. Now the problem is I want to disable these buttons that are appearing in the player here because you don't want to have duplicate navigation. It's confusing for the user. The buttons can behave uh, in ways that you don't expect. So what I want to do is I want to disable these buttons here in the player while still keeping all this stuff over here. It's pretty easy. Let me show you how. So first off, you need to know there's two different places you need to go to in Storyline. One is the player, and that's for the features on the player in the left-hand bottom corner. The other is this little gear here on individual slides, or I'll show you another way to deal with the next and back buttons in a universal way in just a minute. Let's start with the player. So you can customize basically everything about the player here. It's got the classic player, there's a modern player. Uh, the modern is better for accessibility. I'm just partial to nostalgia for the classic player. But you can see uh, in the left-hand side here, I'm using Storyline on uh, Parallels on a Mac here, so sometimes it gets a little bit upset, and that's why I've got this spinning wheel here. But you can see that all the player controls you would want in the left-hand corner are here. So you can enable and disable whatever you want. Accessibility controls, volume, captions. You can keep these and still get rid of the previous and next buttons that appear over here. And whether you're using the classic or the modern, uh, the options are largely the same. Oh, I'll take that back. Uh, for modern, you can actually uh, enable and disable play and pause here as well. But we'll still have to go elsewhere to fix that next and back arrow that you see over here. So I'm just going to leave it on classic just because that's how I built out this project. I'll leave it as it is. Hey, man, I'm trying to go back to classic here. There we go. All right, so there's my controls I want. I disabled the seek bar. I don't think I need it, but I want to get rid of the previous and next buttons. So hit OK. And again, everything in this player is customizable. I really recommend going into colors and effects and exploring other and seeing what other custom effects you can have. OK, so again, the bottom left corner of the player, I've got the features that I want. Now I want to disable the next and back buttons in the player. So there's two ways to do it. You can do it slide by slide by going to this bottom right here. Editing properties for selected side and go uncheck, uncheck, oops, uncheck, uncheck. Obviously, that's going to be really tedious to do for an entire project, especially if you've already built it out. And it is the default in Storyline that every slide is going to have previous and next enabled, both buttons and swipe. So instead of that, what you can do is pop over to Story View. Uh, you can select the slides that you want to customize navigation for. This is better to have something that you set up at the beginning of a project when you first start building something out. And you can also set this in your master slides as well. Uh, it's always better to have these designs, decisions made from the beginning, but if you don't, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. You can select all the slides that you wanna change and head over here to slide properties and universally change these all at once. So I can disable all of those all at once and now none of those slides are going to have the on-screen navigation. So let me show you now how this looks. I fix the navigation. I customize the player. It's all how I want it. Go ahead and preview. And this preview will be true to life, true to publish uh, for each of your slides here. And now you can see I've got the volume. I've got accessibility controls. I got my on-screen custom navigation. Nice and shiny right there. Nice professional touch for this project. And there's no duplicate navigation. Again, never have duplicate navigation. It's very confusing for the user. Um, it's just that easy. Again, you do have to go to two places, the player and to the slide properties for each. Again, you can make these changes in your master slides as well if that's something that you want to do. Uh, just be sure before you publish and deliver any Storyline project with custom nav to your client. As always, make sure the navigation works as expected. If you're going to use custom nav, make sure your user isn't going to get trapped anywhere by clicking on something that you didn't expect them to click on, or maybe you have a broken trigger for a navigation button. And yet another reason to use master slides because you can also put these uh, navigation buttons, the on-screen ones, into your master slides as well. And then you have one place to fix them if things go wrong. So highly recommend master slides. In any case, that's it. Go forth.
make some custom navigation and let me know how it turns out.